What's going on everybody, it's your boy Kari, AKA Unbraided Warrior here. I wanna to talk to you about something real quick for a second. One of the best things you can do as a concealed carry holder is having the right EDC. What I mean by EDC means everyday carry. What consists of an everyday carry? Probably your keys, a light, a knife, your firearm, but to secure your firearm, you need a great quality holster. This company, Slim Fit Holsters, has a great quality holster. As a matter of fact, they have different great quality holsters. They have appendix rigs, they have wallets, they got wallets now, they got trays where you can place your wallet and your firearm and your knife and everything else like that from your EDC. They even have a belt that you can use for your everyday carry. They also even have outside the waistband holsters. My first holster from Slim Fit Holsters was the Nexus Appendix Carry Rig Holster. It lets you customize your holster from different colors, different add-ons such as the wedges and the mini wings and everything else like that that help make carrying their holsters much more comfortable and conceal it better. In fact, I got two new holsters from them. My new Nexus Appendix Carry Rig Holster from my Smith & Wesson MEP Shield EZ9 and it's slide cut for a red dot as well in the future, which I'm gonna put on pretty soon. And also, another holster for my Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 nylon mirror handgun in the four and quarter inch barrel with a light bearing holster. These both are actually light bearing holsters. These are some real great quality holsters. They're very comfortable. The retention is secure. And it's gonna be one of the best holsters you guys ever own. And they sponsor me. So that means you guys get a discount. If you use the code ABW10, you guys get 10% off your total order. When you go to checkout and you purchase your Slim Fill holster, make sure you put in the code ABW10 so you guys can get 10% off your total order, all right? So once again, shout out to Slim Fill Holsters for sponsoring me and make sure you guys put in that promo code at the end when you want to check out so we can get you a good quality holster to add your EDC kit. All right, guys, have a good one and continue watching the video. All hair shots, no chest. Every day, Saturday, we bless. You ain't making dead yet, take steps. Write your goals down and make progress. All right, guys, so I got another product review for you guys today. And the product, the product review I'm doing is on another craft holsters. If you guys remember one of my recent videos I did on a Crafts holster, which was one that was sent to me by Crafts Holsters, and um, it was a pretty good holster. It was uh, it was a leather holster for my Smith & Wesson MEP 2.0 9mm handgun. And the company liked the review I did because it was an honest and real review. They were willing to send me another one. And the holster I requested, I requested one for my Smith & Wesson MEP Shield EZ9 and I wanted to be for, you know, a pendant because I enjoy, I not just enjoy, but my favorite position to carry is, is in front, a pendant, because it's the quickest to get to, and it's the most efficient for me. So, they sent me a holster, and this is the holster right here. This is a, this is a pendant carry holster, leather holster, for my Smith & Wesson M&P Shield EZ9. And they did one thing that was very freaking cool about this holster. They put my initials on it. ABW, which stands for Arm Bearded Warrior, which I think is pretty cool, and it's uh, you know nice and gold and everything else like that, pretty much like how my royalty arm shirt is, the black and gold, the royal gold. So that is pretty dope. So this is pretty cool what they did. Now, <clears throat> now I'm not gonna make this video super long like how I did the one before, where uh, where I went through the whole um, packaging and where I you know did the breaking kit, which is the breaking kit where. The holster comes in pretty tight and you know, in order to break it in so it can fit your gun a whole lot better is to use the breaking kit and by using it properly, even though there's three different methods, three or four different methods, I think it's three. And um, the one I use is by, you know, putting, spraying a certain type of um, spray on a cotton cloth and I just wipe it inside. I put the firearm in a plastic bag in a way and I put it inside the holster and I let it sit overnight for well, I would say overnight, I had for 24 hours. And um, to be honest with you guys, <clears throat> I did it for 72 hours. Why did I do it for 72 hours? Because I was actually having a little bit of trouble the first the first 24 hours. Because when I did it for 24 hours at first, and I went to uh, it was still it was still pretty tight to get the firearm out of the holster. It's like I had to damn near pry it out. So now I've done it for 72 hours. I'm gonna show you how it fares, and this is actually going to be 
you know, the first time I'm actually gonna do it because I had rated it and like I said, I did not want to, you know, make the video super long like how I did before. So this is my Smith the Western MP Shield EZ9 and uh, just to make sure, uh, empty mag. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the holster on. Excuse the belly, guys. You know me, I'm a big guy, so. Okay. All right, put this part in here. You know, there's a flap here, which is right here. You see it? I'm gonna put this part here and to unbutton the latch. Put going to uh, that under. okay. Put this part over here. So as you can see, the belt is inside the belt clip part here. There it is. I'm gonna put the hoop. said I've already let the fire this time sit 72 hours so <clears throat> I'm gonna put the fire on inside the holster here make sure it's all the way in not just halfway so it's okay it's all the way in there definitely okay I can tell you this much it it conceals very well because for one, but it's the fact that the EZ9 is a compact firearm and I like how compact it is, even though it still fits my hand pretty well, I like how concealable it is. So the, so the, so the holster conceals it pretty well. And that's even without a holster cloth, especially if it's like, you know, only leather holster. So I'm gonna see when I try to draw it, if it will come out smoothly, like how the previous craft holster I had will do. So again, so I'm gonna, gonna draw real quick. See how that works. Uh, okay, that was a huge fumble. Like the firearm is still definitely in the holster. That was an epic fail. One more time. Make sure it's all the way in there properly. Okay. Gonna draw again. And that happens. Okay, so this is what the situation is look like it is here. So even though after breaking the holster in using the using the breaking kit. And you and doing the breaking process for 72 hours. It seems like the fire, it seems like the holster is um it seems like it's still pretty tight. And and the, and the crazy thing is is that um when I did a review on the other holster, you know what I'm saying, it didn't have this problem. I only did for 24 hours and it was able to go in. You know pretty smoothly and come out smoothly as well whereas with this one you know it's uh it doesn't do that i wonder is it because this particular design you know with like how you guys saw like you know with with that so it's like it only i know it, it stops the holster from moving inside your you know your pants as you're walking stuff like that but when it comes to drawing you know since it's like it still fits tight and snug, even though it's supposed to, but it doesn't come out as smoothly. So and then when, I, when it comes out, this ends up happening. You know what I'm saying? Which uh, I don't know, but that's that's something of a concern to me because 
I don't want this happening when I draw. Let's tell you guys looking at this area when I just bring myself up. Okay, so yeah, so <clears throat> so so for this one, I'm gonna say it's a no go on this one. Now that's not saying that the brand itself is bad because it isn't because like i said before i did a review on one of their holsters and they sent me one and it was great and i still even use that one but as far as this design here i probably would probably rather have um like have a similar design to the old to the other craft holster i had i would probably want to do it in that design because i really do believe that maybe <clears throat> that one would be a little bit easier. Ugh. See, it just took me a uh, took me a minute to get that sucker out of there. It took a real struggle, and that's one thing you do not want in a holster. You do not want it to be hard to uh, to get your holster out, and you don't want it to be a struggle just to put the put the firearm inside the holster. So, as far as that one is concerned, this one here, it's a no go for me on this one. Now that's just my personal opinion. So in this review here, this particular culture design, I wouldn't want to continue to use this one, but the old design, or should I say not the old design, but the design that they sent me before, which is this one here, I will continue to use this one because this one is very comfortable. And as far as I'm concerned, it didn't give me the problem that this one has so this one is still a great buy still a great holster design this one mm, i'm not so sure about this one i am i will probably like just not use this one so that's it for this review guys oh but wait before i go what's going on everybody it's your boy kari aka arm bearded warrior here and i appreciate everyone that's been supporting me on this youtube journey i've been on for a while and what i mean by supporting i mean liking my videos watching my videos sharing my videos, even going as far as to subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all the love and support. But if you guys really want to help and support me and support my channel, please go visit royaltyarmsllc.com. The website has a plethora of pro two-way designs. And there's also different collections. There's the limited edition collection, the gun humor collection, historical quotes, the civilian collection. I'm actually wearing one of the shirts from the limited edition collection right now. And this is the limited edition Royalty Arms Royal Gold. And this is the Light of Proud design, which has the shield, the king and the queen, and the rifles crossing. The majority of these shirts have a positive pro Second Amendment message. Royalty Arms has a positive Second Amendment message. The clothing is for the people. This is the people's clothing for all the kings and queens of society. I will always have the website in the link in the description below. So if you click the little arrow at the bottom of the video, and you will see all of the info in the, in the description below, and you will see the Royalty Arms website. So guys, once again, if you want to continue to support me and support my channel, please buy some merch from RoyaltyArmsLLC.com. Thank you. All right, guys, if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comments so we can get some dialogue going. This is your boy Kari, AKA Arm Bearded Warrior, signing off. And you know what I always say, stay safe, stay vigilant. How it going, everybody? Feeling like, greatest, yeah. Play this first that the players, yeah. I ain't never asked for no favors, nah. You can take my name off the wait list, yeah. Ooh, feeling like the greatest, ooh. Studio feeling so